So today's noir is another Japanese noir. This one is from uh, Yoshitaro Nomura. Um, I have several of his films, I think about three that I'm going to watch this month. And this was the first one, it's from 1958. And the um, English translation of the title roughly is Stakeout. And I would like to um, pose an idea. I think that the 1987 um, Richard Dreyfus Emilio Estevez film Stakeout was actually inspired by this film and there is no credit given for that. Like I looked, I tried to find it, if there was like ever somewhere and they were like, yeah, we, we you know, we took the general idea from this Japanese film from 1958. No. Okay. Not only are both films called Stakeout, both films star, um, are, are, are about an older police officer and a younger police officer who are newly partners who are following a young woman who is the old flame of an escaped criminal that they're trying to catch on the under chance that perhaps he comes to her. That's literally the plot of both movies. Now, in the 1987 film, you know, Richard Dreyfuss then seduces the woman, and it's very male gazy. Um, and there's a lot of um, 80s tropes in that version. In this one, it's very post-war Japan um, noir. Uh, so they're, you know, uh, in the way in which they tell the story is very differently, but it's at heart the same story. And I'm like, what? Um, so that's the plot, you know. So, you know, I have actually seen the 1987 stakeout many, many times. Uh, it was a perennial at my house. Um, this one was lovely. The cast includes uh, Minoru Oki as the older police detective and Seiji Mayuguchi as the younger police detective. I believe I have that right. Hideko Takamini as the woman, the girl, the old flame. She is the most heartbreaking in this. And um, Takahiro Tamura as the the escaped murderer who, uh, spoilers, comes into her house. So Hideki Ta Takamini is so good. And she um, is mostly the, um, she's mostly gazed at in this film as the two detectives follow her from afar. And you don't get as much... Uh, with her as you would in some of the films where she's the star but what you do get is some really emotionally heartbreaking moments especially towards the end when she realizes that she's just stuck in this horrible suburban life and how noir is that that even you know like we feel like that's such an American thing but it's it's an everywhere thing especially for for women and especially in the mid-century um post-war years where the men felt so helpless that they just turned all the women into you know housewives um, there's something else I want to say. Oh, so it's shot on, on beautiful location photography. There's this one shot where they're in a window watching her and then the camera sort of zooms into um, this crowd that is, is phenomenal. Um, there's some great, again, crowd shots um, of the town, of some various celebrations and parades and things. Um, there's a, an overarching uh, symbol, symbol, symbol of um, Takamini holding this white parasol and it's this white parasol shows up throughout the film multiple times it's a way to find her it's a way to um, sort of indicate her innocence and also a way to show that like innocence can be masked it can be a mask and that you can be hiding something much deeper underneath um, so it's just a really great film jazzy score uh, really fits in with the late era noir canon um highly recommend it uh it's on criterion channel right now i'm not sure if it's on dvd so if it's not try to find it if it is still try to find it it's really great um i'm glad that i uh, someone on twitter told me about this director and was like hey they're on there too and i'm like thank you person on twitter um so i'll be watching the other couple from him for november later in the month and i hope you're having good watching so much to watch so little time